Hello guys and guys, and welcome to my first sort of video with like an actual camera. It feels weird not to be at my desk with my with my headset and Minecraft loaded up, but it's different nonetheless. But anyways, um, here I have in front of me my new PSU or power supply unit. And uh, to the side here I have my uh, desktop, which I have brought out so I can install it for you. Uh, basically what a, a power supply unit is... Um, is is it's uh, the thing that powers all the components inside your computer, your your SATA drives, your hard drive, your processor, um, pretty much you name it. That's what powers it. It's the only power supply coming in. And uh, I'm upgrading my current uh, power supply from uh, 450 watts to 700 watts, and that's what I've got in front of me. It's an Extreme Power Plus 700 watt. So I'm basically going to be upgrading my computer and uh, doing all that good stuff, digging into my computer, getting my hands dirty with all the wires and stuff. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Let's get started. So pretty much what you'll need for this PSU install slash replacement is, um, number one, you're going to need a screwdriver, which I've got right here, um, a Phillips head, and I would recommend using an aerosol can to clean out the dust, and also a pair of scissors to cut out all the, uh, bands that are holding all your current PSU's wires together. So, um, yeah. Okay, so before you touch anything inside your computer, or even open it up, or if you think about opening it up, you're going to want to unplug pretty much everything that connects to it. That includes audio cables, video cables, you definitely your power. Um, don't forget to do that, as well as your Ethernet. And anything that's plugged in, just take it out, and then we can move on to the next step. Alright, so next you're going to take a Phillips head screwdriver, as you can see there, it's Phillips, and, um, who focus, there we go, Phillips, and you're going to want to unscrew the four, uh, the four screws that, oh, sorry, the one screw <laughs> that, um, holds your case, uh, cover on, so, uh, yeah, you, let me just pan over, there's the one screw right there, and, uh, you're just gonna want to unscrew that, um, so you can get your case off, so, oh, uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, okay, so it turns out I do need a uh, flathead, so I'll get that. All right, so right here I've got my unnecessarily long um, flathead screwdriver, and I'm just going to put that in and uh, go lefty loosey to uh, undo the screw uh, so we can move on and get the case off. So I'm just going to fast forward this process, and uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so before you touch anything, anything inside of your case, you're going to want to stay grounded, so you're pretty much going to want to take one hand or any uh, bare piece of skin on you and just keep it on something metal, in this case I'm having my, my cover be uh, that piece of metal, and you're just going to always want to touch it whenever you're touching something inside of your uh, computer, and that just makes sure that you've got no static on you that could possibly harm any components inside your computer, so it's very important, make sure you have this. Alright, so that big box right there is uh, my power supply that's 450 watts. So you're going to want to take your aerosol can and... Oh, I'm all out. So um, anyways, you're going to want to uh, clean out the dust beforehand, but I've already done it uh, about a month ago, so I should be good free of any dust. So um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this. So just go to your store, buy an aerosol can, and um, clean that place out before you do anything because it can get a little hectic. Alright, so pretty much there's going to be a whole bunch of cords coming out of your power supply and uh, you're, you're, everything needs to be unplugged because you're putting a new one and uh, I know it's a little scary, you know, unplugging everything from the fans and the motherboard and the SATA drive, but um, just don't worry about it. I mean, you're going to be replacing it in just a few seconds, so just take out everything that connects to your pow power supply, a anything that... Any cord that comes out of your power supply, um, connect the other ends from your motherboard, your um, processor, your SATA drive, your fans, whatever um, you follow that cord and it connects to, take it out. Um, so you'll be free to take the actual power supply out of its place and um, or put it in the new one and replace the cords. So just make sure you take all those cords out of their plugs. Alright, so um, yeah, so you just take that out and then you replace it and yeah that's pretty much it
All right, there we go. Now, uh, just make sure you don't force anything. Don't pull your motherboard uh, connector out. Don't do any of that bad stuff. Just um, gently wiggle it out, you know, be as uh, humane as possible um, getting that thing out. Don't be brutal. Don't force it out. Just, you know, sort of wiggle, take it out slowly, and um, eventually you'll get it. Apply force gradually, and um, here, let me just get out the the hard drive. Um, those might be a little trickier because they might be tucked away, but there we go. Got them. Actually, um, I pulled out. I think I realized in just a few seconds. Yeah, there we go. But I put it back in. Um, but yeah, just make sure you're just unplugging the stuff that connects to power supply. You might get a little unplug happy, you know, <laughs> unplug a lot more than you need to, but just make sure you're doing what you need to. So, um, yeah. Okay, so now that you've got all the cords unplugged and in a bundle, what you're going to want to do is, um, let me just pan over here. Um, you're going to go to where the back of your, uh, PSU power supply unit plugs into your case or not plugs in, screws into your case, and you're going to want to find those four screws, and you're going to take your uh, your screwdriver um, right here, and you're just going to want to um, slowly unscrew all four of those, and just make sure you have a firm grip on your power supply while you do this. Like I just said, it's very important to keep your hand underneath your power supply if it's not uh, horizontal, so it does not fall on top of your motherboard and damage it or uh, just bend anything. Just, just keep your hand supporting it while you unscrew this, or just have your friend support it while you unscrew. Just whatever it takes to have that thing not fall all over your case. So, uh, yeah, it's very important. So after you wiggle your power supply a little bit out, there should be a clip on the bottom. If you just press that, you can slide it right out and um, take the whole thing out along with the cords and uh, find your new PSU, which I uh, I think, uh, yeah, there we go. There's my new PSU and um, uh, yeah. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find the front or back, actually the back of your power supply, which has the plug and uh I.O. switch on it. Um, it's right there. So you're just going to line that up with the back of your case. And you're also going to want to find your fan and make sure you have that so it's uh, flipped in the right orientation. So that fan is feeding from an open space and not uh, it's not facing the wall of your case or something stupid like that. So always make sure that fan is feeding to, um, or facing like an open open uh, air spot and just you just want to slide that baby in um kind of keep it down low it might be a little tricky but if you find the right spot click it in and uh, push there might be a little clip on the bottom that you need to push but there we go slide it in and snap it into place hopefully it should go in smoothly i had a little bit of trouble here um but um yeah, actually, that that looks good. And you're going to want to get your screws, and you're going to want to screw those in. So I'll be right back. So I've got it all screwed in. Uh, that thing's not going anywhere. It's all fine, set. Now I'm just going to undo this twist tie here. And, um, well, it might cause a little bit of conflict because it's metal in it, but um, I, I'm i not going to worry about it. Chances are it's not going to touch anything important. So I'm just going to... Um, get my scissors here, if I can find them, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> and um, I'm going to cut this thing off, make sure you don't, make sure you don't cut any wires, that is very important, if you cut a wire, you're dead, you wasted 80 bucks, but, um, or, or more, depending on your PSU, but, um, yeah, actually, I just got the bright idea of actually undoing the twist tie, gosh, what a revolutionary idea, so, <laughs> make sure. You don't be a derp like me. Take that twist tie off and um, unravel your cords. Get everything unraveled so you see where everything is. Might take a little bit of untangling, but try to separate all your different cords. And um, yeah, just kind of pull them out, separate them, and um, yeah. Next step is to plug in all your stuff. So there, right there is my motherboard. Um, my motherboard connector, and it's going to be a 20 pin or a 24 pin, depending on your motherboard. Um, right here, I've got a 24 pin. My actually previous cord only had 20 pins, and only 20 were connected, so I thought that was interesting. But um, for the sake of being awesome, I just put in 24. So it might take a little bit of pushing. Just be very delicate. Make sure you got it all the way in. Make sure you get it all the way in. But make sure you uh, don't bend your motherboard or do anything crazy like that. 
uh, so I just got that in, and you're going to want to make sure um, that the clip on your motherboard pin is facing out, away from the motherboard, so the clip that holds it in is away from the motherboard, and also plug in that 4-pin connector with the sides on the side, and um, yeah, time to move on. There are a lot of cords that come with your PSU. Um, a lot of them I do not know the function of, but I know pretty much all the ones that I need today. Um, I can study up a little bit later, find out what all of them do, but I know what's required. That is a four-pin connector and a uh, focus, there we go. Um, and that basically goes into your processing unit or some other ones, I forget. Um, and that right there, that is your four flat four-pin, and that goes into old-style um, SATA drives and such. Um, now that, that's the same, and let me find, uh, there we go, yeah, uh, wait, the, I already went over those, this is the four pin, they're, they're different by the way, um, and here we have the flat, flat, um, uh, connectors, those are for the SATA drives, the newer SATA drives, um, so just make sure you find out which one you are. And uh, that is the 6-pin connector, which uh, goes to your graphics card or any other PCI Express um, connector that requires extra power. That's not given by the PCI Express on your motherboard. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Next up is my processor connectors, or the 4-pin connectors right there. Uh, maybe different, depending on your processor. I don't know. I haven't looked in a lot of computers, but this is what mine has. I I'm sure it's standard. I, I don't think they vary much. Um, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to get that, same as the motherboard, and just make sure the pin is facing outwards. or It's a square. I don't know which way is outwards, but... Um, yeah, just look for the little latch on the side, and you'll know which way the pin goes, or the the... The, la uh, the clip goes and uh, you just push it in until it snaps and then make sure that's nice and tight and isn't going to come out and uh, kind of move that stuff to the side and uh, let's move on. I've got all that all figured out. Here's my SATA connector and I'm just going to find uh, my hard drive and my CD drive. Uh, let me just uh, untangle those, make sure it's uh, nice and untangled. You don't want uh, wires crisscrossing in any way. You want them to be uh, as neat as possible so when you bundle them up there is no confusion or um, any sort of nodding or anything like that. So just make sure that you um, have them all uh, sorted out and like I, I want to put that under so it doesn't um, tangle or anything. So I'm just going to get that and I'm going to find my hard drive. I'm sorry I forgot to pan the camera but it's pretty straightforward. You find the hard drive, the one you unplugged before, and you're just going to want to uh, connect that. So uh, I'm just going to cut to when random arm is not in the picture. Alright guys, so I've pretty much, uh, ins uh, well I've plugged in my uh, CD drive, uh, which is basically the same as hard drive, so I didn't really need to go on any further instruction. Um, of course, if you have extra components like a second hard drive, you're going to want to plug those in. Pretty much everything that you unplugged, replug with the new one. Pretty straightforward, you guys. I'm just walking you through it. Um, but anyways, um, you're going to want to make sure those cords are nice and bundled. I went ahead and did that already. Um, make sure they're not blocking any sort of airflow. Um, I tried my best, but there was just so much wire there. But I tried my best to sort of bundle that in a way that it's not blocking any airflow. Um, I will see yet if there are any problems. If there's any eating problems, you can just take your computer right back out and bundle it in a different location or something like that. So it doesn't cause any problems, but uh, that's pretty much how I'm going to leave it for now. If uh, it doesn't work out for me, I'm going to take it out and fix that. But anyways, uh, just sort of bundle that up and, uh, you know, cross your fingers. You put on your lid, um, you get to do the final steps, uh, put in that screw. I'm just going to kind of, I can do most of it with my fingers there, and I'm going to get Mr. Uh, really Awkward um, <laughs> screwdriver, and I'm going to seal that up. All right, so one last thing before you go away and plug everything back in is uh, make sure that switch, that I.O. switch, is turned on on otherwise you'll try to turn it on and you'll freak out because it's not turning on and that's simply because that switch isn't flipped so uh don't uh don't forget that last step otherwise you'll freak out and you'll 
go back in and figure out what's wrong. All right, so also, um, if a power cord came with your PSU, um, you're going to want to make sure you use that one and not the one that came into your computer because this one was sent to you for a reason. It probably has higher voltage. All right, so the moment of truth, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and um, after I plugged everything back in, I'm going to flip that uh, on switch and, oh, got to get my monitor. That might be important. Um, and here we go, moment of truth. Alright, so we got our uh, blinking uh, light up in the corner. And there we go, starting Windows. So um, that lets you know that your hard drive's successfully in. Obviously, your mo motherboard's in, otherwise it won't do anything. And um, you can proceed to check your uh, CD drives and stuff like that. But uh, for the most part, my computer is upgraded. It works, um, did everything correctly, and it's um, not that hard of an install. So if you're not a pro, um, feel free to try it yourself. I'm not telling you you should, but um, I, I think it's a relatively easy um, install. So there we go. Thumbs up. We're all good. Everything's loaded. So um, make sure you hit that uh, thumbs up button. Really helps me out as well as favoriting this video so other people get educated in the ways. Um, as well as if you're not subscribed, um, you can also subscribe to me. And those are the three things that you can do to help this video out and have people be educated in the ways of computering. <laughs> Is that even a thing? I don't know. But anyways, do those things and I'll see you guys in the next episode where I get my new graphics card and I install that baby in. Relatively easy compared to this, but... um can't wait. It's going to be awesome. So see you guys in a little bit.